Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Genoa. And uh, welcome back to a not a five minute Friday. It, this was meant to be a five minute Friday, but uh, I didn't do it for one reason or another. Very busy and stuff. But my primary job, my, my full time job. So uh, I'm finally here now and I've got a few stories uh, I want to talk about. Uh, it's more of me answering some of the comments that I've had from previous videos. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to talk about, elephants in the room. Um, as a lot of you have already uh, congratulated me for, I finally ticked over the 100,000 subscribers uh, for, on YouTube. Something that I never thought would ever happen and um, I'm quite shocked really, quite humbled. It's a small um, thing for people on YouTube in general, you know, there are people who've got millions of subscribers and stuff, but for me it's a big milestone and uh, yeah, I'm quite, uh, I don't really know what to say actually. Um, what I do have is a video that I took at the time uh, I was actually in work when it when it rolled over and uh, I, I actually filmed that moment because I wanted to share it with my missus. Um, but I've got a little section of it here which I want to show you. Thank you. You love me. You really love me. <laughs> That's not the video I wanted to show you. This is the video I wanted to show you. Yeah, so it was pretty exciting, um, it got pretty shocking. Uh, yeah, so great. So what I wanted to say is thank you to everybody who subscribed. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome, and I hope you'll, you'll enjoy the, the, the videos that I produce. Uh, and for the, for the people who've been subscribed for a long time, and I know there are quite a lot of you out there who've been subscribed since, right, since before I had even 10,000 subscribers, um, I really appreciate you sticking around and let's hope that we, uh, we get, only get better as we go forward, right? All right guys, enough of that stuff. A couple of years ago, I made a video, I can't believe it's a couple of years ago already, but I made a video in Monaco a couple of, in 2019 and it was uh, Madame Goo docking and I filmed the whole thing. It was one of those docking videos where I don't speak and I just put like the signs everywhere and stuff like that. And then one of the things that happens in the video is you see the, the, the officer, the deck officer standing on the, standing at the stern with the microphone talking to the captain. And I, I talk about all of this in the video. So one of, the, and that video, by the way, has done almost a million views now, incredibly. It's still going. And this is one of the weird things about YouTube. One of the cool things about YouTube, but it's a bit weird as well. It's like when you post a video, it's there forever and people will watch it. People will watch, even though it's two years old, people will watch it today like it's just been posted and they'll post their comments on it. So I get these comments coming through all the time, which is, it's quite weird because it's such an old video. And sometimes people will ask me a question like they've just watched it, but it's years old and I have to remember what, what they're even talking about. But anyway, um, one of the comments that comes up a lot in this video is, why doesn't the super yacht have reversing cameras? That's the most frequent question. And then some have even said, why doesn't it have backup sensors? One guy said, my Toyota Camry has backup sensors. Why can't the super yacht, L LOL. <laughs> so um, I thought that was quite funny. Um, but the fact is that most modern super yachts, they do have cameras. So the captain, the captain can see all around the boat, right? But when he docks the ship, he's out on the bridge wing and they don't always have the, the same equipment on the bridge wing because they're not, they're not going to be at sea when they're on the bridge wing. So they have, they have all the controls, but they don't always have the backup cameras. Now, some modern yachts, they do have a screen that shows them the backup camera, but you've got to remember they're outside uh, in the sunshine, the light shining down on the, any screens that are out there. And it's kind of tricky. Anyway, that's one thing. The other thing is, even though you're looking at 
a camera view of the aft of the ship as they're docking, you know, they're, they're reversing in, there's the dock, and they're, and they're coming in, the stern, and they're trying to put that stern right next to the dock without hitting it. And looking at a camera a view uh, is not the best, it's not, I mean, it helps, but it, it's not the same as being at the stern, right? And obviously he can't be at the stern, so the next best thing is to have somebody at the stern communicating to him the distance. Because although you can see what's happening on a camera, you, you can't necessarily tell the difference because it's on a camera, right? So yeah, they always have somebody there calling out how close they're getting. Cruise ships do this the same, they, they, they do it as well. And um, it's one of those things that you, you have to do. It's the best thing to do. Now, you've got to remember, Madame Goo is 100 meters long. Now, imagine a football field. Now, the captain is at the 30, oh, no. The captain's at the 70 yard line and he's reversing a football field from the 70 yard line. Now, you just try to picture that in your head for a minute. Uh, trying to reverse that, that, that ship or that yacht into that spot. And that's why they have somebody on the stern. It's not because they don't have the technology. It's not because somebody forgot. Parking sensors don't work. It's not a car. <laughs> I'll still get those questions for the next 10 years, most likely, but that's fine. That's okay. All right, guys. Uh, next, the next thing I wanted to talk about is uh, last week I posted a short video in portrait mode, which I hate. I hate doing portrait mode. When my missus sends me videos in portrait mode, I always tell her to turn her camera to shoot it properly. But I shot, I, I posted, I uploaded a very short video about pizzas on the super yacht um, because I was trying out a new thing that they've got. It's called uh, YouTube Shorts. And it's basically, they're basically trying to copy TikTok. Um, so you upload it in portrait mode. It's got all the same features of TikTok down the right hand side, the like buttons and, and all that kind of stuff. But weirdly, when you upload it, even though you're uploading it in portrait mode, it also posts it as a regular video in landscape with your portrait mode stuck in the middle. And it sends it out like a regular video. Uh, uh, notifications to all my subscribers, which is very odd. I didn't know when I, when I posted it, that, that was going to happen. So I, I just, I was just trying it out because some of these videos that, that I've got in my feed have got millions of views and, and I earn revenue on those videos. So I thought I would try it. So since then I've put, I actually contacted YouTube and said, why are you putting it in portrait mode in the short section and posting it to all my subscribers? It doesn't make any sense. So. So I'm not sure I'm gonna do any more of those until they fix it. I think they might, they might, I think it's going through that testing phase. It's a beta at the moment. So hopefully they'll fix that. But that's the reason why that video came out. In that video, it shows all those pizzas arriving at the vessel. Now in, the, in, the, in that little video, I just said it's like, you know, billionaire ordering pizza because it's, it's kind of a catchy thing. I hope it might catch on and pick up a lot of views in the short section. But the, re the reality is, what was happening there is, uh, Friday night, the boss is not on board. Uh, sometimes on a boat, they'll just do that. They'll order food out, uh, usually pizza, especially when you're in Italy, right? And the guy, and the, the, that's for the crew. And, and on a vessel that size, I think they've got about 32 crew on there, and they ordered 30 pizzas. So pretty much one pizza each. Those pizzas are not massive. They're not like, you know, American large pizzas, which are, you know, size of a small planet. That's no moon. They're, um, they're more sort of uh, mo moderate in size. So they ordered 30 pizzas and that will, will have been for the crew. I think the guy who received them was the chef. And uh, yeah, and they were just, uh, you know, relaxing. The chef doesn't have to cook and everybody gets to have some pizza and, and you're in Italy, so you have some pizza. So that, that's what was happening there. Um, but I just, I just wanted to try and cash in on that. Um, shorts thing, it didn't really work, uh, but anyway, there you go. That, that, that's the explanation for it. Okay, another thing that came up, uh, the Jeff Bezos video, 
uh, or the Jeff Bezos news that he's building this massive super yacht and the support vessel. Now, I, I made a video previously talking about that. I'm not going to talk about the same subject. But what I wanted to actually touch on was um, I saw, I was looking at other videos or, or other videos on YouTube of people talking about that same subject. And one of them that caught my eye was uh, the, the Young Turks. Now, in the past, I've made a couple of videos about whenever they talk about super yachts, they always get the details really poorly wrong. And, and it always frustrates me um, that they do it. And, and, and on this video, they talked about Jeff Bezos having two yachts, right? Now, they clearly don't know what a support vessel is. And that's, that's okay because it's, it's, a, it's an unusual uh, subject, right? Um, so they didn't know, and, but they, instead of trying to find out, they just sort of talked about what they thought it was. So I've seen ships, yachts, where they open up the bottom and then another ship from within the ship comes in, like, like a Russian doll or something, right? Uh, but this has a yacht so big within the yacht that you could land a helicopter on. It's just poor research on their part, and I posted a comment in their video saying, hey guys, you know, your research on this is pretty bad. If you if you want some fact checking, why don't you get in touch? Now I had a, quite a few comments from other people saying that it, it's not important. Uh, the story's about, you know, him having all this money and stuff. But, but what I think is it is important because it's it's like if they can if they get that wrong in the story, and I know it's wrong because I know what I'm talking about on this subject. What else are they getting wrong when they do other news stories? That's the thing you've got to look at. When somebody gets details wrong in a story, you have to ask yourself, well, what other stories that I don't know about are, is this news outlet getting wrong? So that's why um, I left that comment. They never contacted me, obviously. Anyway, guys, I, I want to end it there. Um, I, I just uh, That was basically like a catch-up video. I want to, these are the, some of the things that I've written down that I've wanted to talk about for quite a while. Uh, again, thanks very much for being a subscriber. Um, I hope you uh, will stick around. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like this video if you did enjoy it because it helps the word to get spread to other people. The more likes a video gets, the more recommendations it gets from YouTube to other new people, potential new subscribers. And uh, yeah, so be sure to like it. So, and if you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit the subscribe button for plenty more videos like this to come. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching and take it easy. Bye-bye.